2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. Man, I think we're good. You see? Total slave driver. <laughs> if she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. So this is where things are going to start getting interesting. First half of the battle will be fairly normal. Second half, when he breaks off, I think that's when things are going to start getting cool. We're going to reunite with 2B to shoot a giant laser cannon. I, we might even have to aim that, actually, now that I think about it. Like, help her aim it. And then, after that, things are going to get different. Like, things are going to get real different for pretty much the rest of the story. Because only in the very end does 9S really join us. And we also see him at one point. Um, he takes control of a, a robot whenever we go when we go into the Become His Gods building. The factory. I love I love the sword part of this. Like that's like some Gundam stuff right there. Like this is cool. That you can swing a sword using your ship. Why do we have carriers anyway? Are we are we fighting the robots on the seas? Are there naval robot officers? Just let the robots have the seas. Just ask so that we can have the land back. Large-scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. All right, this thing, yeah. Man, if you do it right and you use like the missiles, this thing goes down so quick. Like it's supposed to be like, oh god, look at how big and terrible this machine is. But you get right here and you let go missiles, and you just you do a ton of damage. Yeah, it's just it's two volleys of the missiles, plus attacking between, and it's dead. Unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. That's new. Here comes the fun. 
I actually do like fighting this thing. I think it's fun. It's freaking huge. Mostly because you're in a flight unit the whole time and you can cheese the crap out of it. If you keep attacking like this, it's pretty hard to get hit by anything other than laser beams. Crap! It's blocking close range attacks with the MP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostile. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. No, the imp generator. The generate imps. The EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. We all know how well this is going to work. Just slowly mosey your way over there while batting away robots with a giant android swords. Our, our Gundam swords, might I add. <laughs> Affirmative. So overpowered compared to these tiny androids, not even funny. Of course, I guess that's kind of what happens in bullet hell sections. No hacking. I'm gonna hack you. Oh no, hacking's not working. Guess I'll just have to beat you up. I guess they're, you know, they they're like uh, they're protected, so you, maybe hacking wouldn't work. here either. So look at this. This is just ridiculous. So you can just sit here and keep pounding on him like this and take no damage. Alright, attempt a laser strike and see how well that works. Confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Sure, this will go well. <laughs> nope. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? Pretty much. We'll just have to shoot it in its mouth with a giant shooty shoot gun. <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Do you like 2B? But better? Your 4B? 2B, let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. Alright, so am I aiming, then? Oh, am I hacking? I'll help aim by shooting this ball. Assuming control. <laughs> this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. So too thick. Late. Let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. 
That's right. Lay down some. I want to help shoot. Stupid mouth. Yum. Delicious mac cannon rounds, or whatever this thing is. Mortar? Yeah. Did we skip the... To me. Did we skip we that one go, section? Me. This is bad. Or no, I'm, I'm I can't remember exactly how this goes down. Are you all right? No, no, okay, now I know what's happening. I thought maybe we skipped this part, but no, this part's still happening. I love how the way to stop it was maroon it in the ocean. I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, Toopy. This is gonna work. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's find out what he was doing the whole time when he was deserting. Or at least we thought he was deserting. Toopy! I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. Awesome. Okay. Taking a little bit too much damage now. Luckily for us, they sent out the weak squadron of propeller dudes to stop us. That move is so powerful, especially, like I've said it before, but if you can get if there's a really powerful enemy you're trying to destroy and you can get, like, surrounded by it on two or more sides, where it'll catch, like, a ton of the missiles, that is incredibly powerful. Or, like, possibly right here. I got a lot of them. That, yeah, that, that wounds the crap out of him. Because he just got hit with a ton of those missiles. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Fight!
Who would have thought controlling missiles would be so hard? Party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be nine S. Don't die on me. You're you're the only story relevant characters. Every other android is okay with being dead, but not those two. The child held sway over enormous strength, but sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. Oh, sad robot. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! Mother. 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 But his voice never reached his mother. You know, I wonder if these, like, in, these little sections here necessarily reflect what's actually happening. Like, if it's, I mean, if it's all one big story, or if it's just reflecting what's happening in the this current is time. This tactical support unit, pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situation Didn't we already would see theoretically this? allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between Pod 042 and Pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. I feel like we already saw that. Unless that's because I have a new pod thing. Is this hacking space? How did I... Find myself in a bizarre memory storage area stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze. A labyrinth. A massive interconnected network. I've never seen anything like it. Must have been created by the machines. So then, what am I doing here? I am 9S. That's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory may have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories. Myself. My... Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. The recovery program begins to fill in the bank blanks in my memory. They drift back like missing letters, filling out a word. The bunker. Tubi's plan. A colossal machine life form. The last resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of the blast. It halted most of the safeties the network had in place. Wait, it must have been that EMP blast. Hooked me up to the machine network too somehow. Oh, is that why 9S can control the robot after this? That makes a bit more sense. It took a while, but the recovery program managed to restore most of my memory functions. The song. I think this might either sound similar to one of the songs from the first game, or it might be like a a remixed one from the first game I want to say it's the one from the Shadow Lords uh, like final boss room area but a like very relaxed version 
I guess. Simplistic, maybe? I'm not sure. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Well, guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. It looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It all seems pretty random at first, but... On closer inspection, I learn how it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history and philosophy. But what's really strange are the records of machines stored next to those. In the politics category are records of the machine's own governmental endeavors. They tried all sorts of things. Absolute monarchies. Republic. Democracies. And that wasn't all. They also engaged in other scholarly pursuits such as philosophy, mathematics, science, and social criticism. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline. Almost as if... No, that's wrong. Robots can't be... Humans. <laughs> Machines are imitating humans? Why would they do that? Which way do I go? There's a path that way. There's a path that way. I dive deeper into the records. I can find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, if a unit fall fails, it fails in exactly the same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government. It just forms a new dictatorship. Or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again. And again. And again. And again. They keep performing the same behaviors. They don't ever learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed. So, why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the objective is failure itself. I sense a change in the data. Some kind of movement. I hone my perception and hold my breath. I... I hear something. A distant voice. I... now... All androids. There's something there. Something clearly intelligent. What the heck was that? Are they talking? Yeah, well, that was a dead end. Let's go this way. I'm still fighting here. I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam. A machine made in the image of a man. We machine lifeforms have evolved, he says. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a new form of existence has been born. Lies. Nothing but lies from mere machines. That was an 9S. <laughs> Adam laughs. And yet you androids claim to be alive. How very odd. You are puppets who lack even your own free will. No, you're wrong. His words flow through me as though they were poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm... We're... Perhaps you have a will after all, he chuckles. Perhaps you have desires. Now you see, boy, the true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. The vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong. The more you try to hide it, the more that darkness grows. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong! Wrong!
Dang it. We were made to protect mankind. We're not the same as you machines. The final area? I think so. All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites are what give our lives meaning. Some seek beauty. Others serenity. For me, hatred is the... I'm not like that. <laughs> oh, yes you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. You want to be loved by all. You're thinking about how much you want- Whoa, 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 what happened there? Excuse me? Reality stained by lies. Stop, stop it! Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, dang it! Overflowing desire. I, I'm not like you. Your true self. That, that was like 180 real fast. We're not the same. Stop it, stop it. It's not my fault, okay? Dang it, I... Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Help me. From 0 to 180 in like point seven seconds. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. And that was a lot of story that went pretty quick there. Is this... death? <laughs> so dark. So cold. Delicious hate. Why did they give me camera control for like one second there? What was that? To be. Come on. Let's go home. The robots were being mean to me, To be. They were bullying me. Excuse me? Self-hack? Can I save? It's a saving possible, but it won't let me do it yet. Alright, let's self-hack. Hacking my own body. Proposal. Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. Fine. Alright. what you do in your brain? You have top-down shooters? Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. Visual sensor yeah, yeah. diagnostics <laughs> complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. 
Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just gotta sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? No server what? for you! What was that? Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all your high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know? Open a port to the server. Are we doing something bad? Ooh, look at all this. This is fancy. Are we going to find out something that we shouldn't? Hmm. No time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. Attack into the server. Detected. Access log to Council of Humanity's Lunar Server. Oh, we're going to find out important stuff. We're going to find out important stuff. September 24th shipped, September 25th delivery scheduled, purified water, repair materials, over. So sending up water and repair materials. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. Yeah. That's weird. Why would they do that? Unless maybe the containers aren't empty? We're gonna find out something about the humans that we're not supposed to know, I feel. Maybe that they're not real? Detected. Your high unit storage records. Okay. Body storage records. Well, there's a number of them that are lost down there. I see 9S and 2B with some numbers next to them. And then Y's and N's, probably yes and no. Not entirely sure what they mean. What's the point of all this heavy security? All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks like everything else is here. Huh? A new port just opened. Let's go investigate. I was really looking forward to this section of the game and it's looking like it's going to be just as interesting as I hoped it would. Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorha Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access... Well, we're going to hack into it and get it anyway. Man, this stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out, too. Get out of here, robot conscience. I need to figure this out. God, this is gonna go only well. It's okay, this one seems kinda easy. Relatively, I'm about to die, but... Let's hack into the into our unauthorized An area. barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Note that these documents are classified level S confidential and are not to be disclosed to any persons affiliated with Yora aside from the commander. Project Yora outline, Yora forces, Yora unit combat system, bunker administration, chain of command, Council of Humanity Development Department, backdoor support units, black box, resistance communication network. Permission is to be received from the designated parties responsible for each in entry prior to viewing. It's a lot of stuff. Let's see. It looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? After a long period of battles and adventures, that is backwards. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, Council of Humanity was formed from Yorha? Release me 
from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be. <laughs> Those aren't real humans. What was that? Crap. Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Uh-oh. Oh, Alert. Minus. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right. I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. Okay. That was really cool. So basically what it looks like is... That the androids were here first, and then they're like, oh, we need to make something for the androids to fight for. Let's make a fake human council. Very interesting. Use the giant terminal. Alright. I'm gonna leave it off there. Um, done recording for the day. That was a long one, but... I like the idea of doing multiple recordings or a stream just to kind of make the whole trying to get this game to run more worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I, like I said, I think it's going to get more interesting as we go on, because most of the rest of the story has 2B and 9S separated. So we're going to be seeing a lot of new stuff, I feel. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!